Hey everybody, Adam Phillips here for Dynamite Entertainment. We're talking today with Sarah Hoyt, the uh, writer of the upcoming series Barbarella, The Center Cannot Hold. And that's coming up in February from Dynamite. We're gonna talk about it in a moment, but before we do, please make sure to hit the like button. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any videos coming on our YouTube page or wherever else you're watching this. And uh, Sarah, it's great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. All right. So you're returning to Barbarella, and this sounds like a real epic story, intergalactic war between godlike beings with poor little Barbarella caught in the middle. I mean... Yes, Barbarella gonna... and Vix. Yes. How can, how can somebody who's just only a regular person handle a, a situation like this? Well... Barbarella is all about the power of the regular person or, you know, the regular woman. Yes. I mean, she's she's a little more uh, enticing than your average woman. But other than that, she is about the power of a woman. Yes. And she can do it by the, the same method she used in the first series, by being yourself and standing through to her values and exposing what's going on behind the scenes, which is the fun of it. Yes, absolutely. And tell us a little about these races or these species or whatever they are that she has to deal with. Well, first of all, she has to deal with Vix's people. And, right. and Vix came on as just your average pet who can talk. Right. But she is really so much more than that. And their people have been, in many ways, pulling the strings on the universe for a long time. And in their own terms, standing up against this other major force that is threatening all living things. And their power isn't fully understood. And, and uh, Barbarella has no idea what she's getting into. Vix certainly has no clue because she's a young one and very trusting. So uh, yeah, there will be a time Vix will have to grow up during the series. And, and But you know, it's Barbarella, Vix and Talon against the universe again, so. Amazing. And what are we, what are we calling the aliens there's the unnameables and the what and the architects and the architects that's right the, that's... those are uh vix's people are the architects they, oh, okay. they flatter themselves that they are <laughs> designing the perfect universe oh that's fantastic so yeah th that sounds like just the right sort of beings for barbarella to sort of puncture yes. their balloon yes that's fantastic and uh, just as an aside, if you hear some very strange sounds, I have a cat dying to be <laughs> on my lap, making the most horrible sounds here. Ah, that sounds great. I, I like it. Okay, and uh, any other surprises we can look for as we get into the story? Uh, a lot of them. There are, <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of very odd beings, including a lagoform, uh, sentient that is rabbit like sentient. Uh -huh. Ooh. There's some resemblance to James Bond. And <laughs> I just had more fun than should be legal, really. I, I hear you. That's fantastic. Last time around, you mentioned that you had a little help from uh, your son or your sons. I think I always have help from my sons. They they are now known to my dynamite editor as the Goon Squad. <laughs> uh, because they are both very large and very blunt. Uh, uh -huh. But but they are I, I kind of gave up comics as they stole my collection as they grew up. Wow. So so they are more fresh on it and they 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 remind me that we don't do certain things that were done in the 70s like <laughs> well that is wild i like it and actually i was going to mention speaking of the 70s and, and all that that we ha so we have our our usual wonderful array of variant covers on this series but one of the cool things is we have a uh, sort of a retro science fiction cover series by an artist named jimmy broxton and also a series of original illustrations by 
Barbarella's is he creator or co-creator Jean Claude Forrest. Uh, oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, which is or it's very cool to have. So that's a that's a callback to the original stories, and we're going to take a look at those covers now. And uh, Sarah, we can't wait to see where this series takes us. I intend to have a lot of fun with it. That's awesome. Uh, that's a great way to approach it. We will look forward to talking to you again real soon. And thank you so much for uh, your time today. You're welcome.